Here it is, guys, the 2023 Maserati MC20 in a spec we've never seen before on the channel. Now, this is Giallo Gino, a new paint color for us here, which translates to Yellow Genius. And you guys can see exactly why they call it Yellow Genius. Let's break down the price, the options, and everything that comes with a new 2023 MC20. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rides, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where I'm here at Maserati Central Florida in Orlando with a new 2023 Maserati MC20. Now this color is Giallo Gino, a color we haven't had on the channel before. And what's the significance of that color? Well, the translation is Yellow Genius. I'm gonna show you exactly why they call this color Yellow Genius in just a moment here. But with that said, I wanna show you guys our second 2023 model that has been on the channel. So everything that's new, this complete spec inside and out, and just walk you around this beautiful $10,000 paint job. So with that said, let's get right to it. Now, if you guys haven't already, make sure you check out my boy Yarick here at Maserati Central Florida. In case you guys wanna get into one of these MC20s or any other cars he has here, on the lot. I will leave the link for his information in the description below. Make sure you guys check him out. Now before we dive deep into the specific spec, there's a couple of new things on the 2023 MC20 that has changed. One, the starting price is now $230,000 where it used to be standard $215,000. So $15,000 increase. Now what are some things that you get new and standard? and optional well there's a few things you get the new grigio incognito solid paint which is a gray you also get the carbon fiber engine cover standard both of that is standard for the mc20 in 2023 so standard equipment there also for the interior you get new light buttons you get the new steering wheel stocks the new blue engine start button the new digital uh, drive mode selector and the alcantara steering wheel that's the interior standard you also get the new maserati key all right, connectivity and three service premium service plan that you can have standard. All right, so what's the optional new equipment? We just got the standard new equipment, all right, but what can you get now as an option in 2023? Nero Enigma paint, also the Aquamarina three layer paint that you see on the Premiseri edition. Uh, we haven't seen that in person yet, but you guys have seen the launch in the pictures. Also the new MMXX design, 20 inch alloy wheels, the new 20 inch carbon fiber wheels, and the dark exhaust tips. That's all optional for 2023. You also can get the new Giaccio interior, again, on the Prima Serie edition. You can also see the you can get the electric steering column and you can get the automated emergency braking with traffic sign information and surround view camera, all as optional equipment for 2023. All right, guys, so check this out. Wow, holy crap. How cool does this look? Really, how cool does this look? I am just amazed by this color. And I know some of you have seen this in person. Again, I haven't had it on the channel before, so I had to show it off and see it for myself. And anything that I see, you guys get to see as well. And here we are. Giallo Genio, yellow genius with the blue pearl. This is a metallic paint with blue pearl, so it shines differently. Look at that. It's nothing that I'm doing. That's exactly how I'm seeing it. This is exactly how that paint looks. It's got that blue pearl to it that looks absolutely stunning. Could you imagine seeing this? Wow. This is so cool. I mean, every angle you can see with the blue light comes in, it is literally yellow genius. Maserati was a genius when they came up with this paint color. Now, for the Maserati MC20, we know all about it. We had the new MC20 style headlights, which came on this car, started here, then went to the Gercale, then went to the Gran Turismo. We'll be going further out through Maserati's design language. We have the Maserati Trident and the emblem right up front, as you guys can see, classic stuff. And you can see that we have the plastic front splitter here. One thing I would have loved to see on this car is the carbon fiber package, but that's a $35,000 package to have the front splitter side skirts and the complete rear bumper in carbon fiber so i get it i get it but it would have set the spec off very nicely now 20 inch bird we do have gloss black calipers with white script and look at the brakes 
Carbon ceramics, you know those aren't cheap. $10,000 for these brakes. Carbon ceramics, they are definitely a race brake. If you're going to be driving hard, you're gonna get carbon ceramics and it's gonna be worth the price for you. But at the same time, they look so good. Man, it's hard to put that in the camera, but yeah, they look really good. Now, obviously for the MC20, the emblem on the side here, side skirts again done in the plastic look, unless you get the carbon kit, you can make it carbon fiber. All right, aerodynamically, this thing is beautiful. Maserati Trident here, done in aluminum. You can see all the extra airflow to feed in the Tuno engine, which we'll see in just a moment, but you can see the glass has the Maserati Trident etched into it, which is one of the cool, really like, attention to detail things that they didn't have to do, but they did on the MC20. And I'm really glad that they did that, because that looks really cool. Then you guys can see your rear view camera here as well. God, that paint, that paint looks so good. It's so distracting. The rear view camera here as well. Not the backup camera, the rear view camera. This is the backup camera. The insignia there. And then we have our exhaust tips. Now you can get these in black for 2023. It's an option though. All right, so keep that in mind. The tails look really cool as well. We'll see those illuminated in a moment here. Now this is where it's all at, right underneath this hood or bonnet or whatever you want to call it, is the twin turbo three liter Natuno V6 pumping out 630 horsepower. Now this will take you zero to 60 in 2.9 and a top speed of 202 miles per hour. Now the whole thing for the MC20 is it's a carbon fiber monocoque, so it's light. How light? Well, 100 kilograms for the carbon fiber monocoque and a total weight is 1,500 kilograms. So obviously, it's a pretty light car and it's gonna have some performance with the ZF transmission. But check out the carbon fiber cover because that comes standard on all MC20s in 2023. So you will automatically see that engine cover, that beautiful engine cover right there if you get an MC20 in 2023. No way around it and I'm glad Maserati did it. Now you guys can see we do have a little bit of trunk space, not a ton but a little bit here all right so you know enough to put floor mats um and a couple extra bags i would say maybe two backpacks full and then that's about it we do have a frunk so a little bit of extra space in there too but for this being a grand tour something that you can just take around i mean i think this is great space for having you know what is a rear engine supercar it's not bad i'll say it that way it's not bad now just in case you were wondering the fuel economy for the MC20's twin turbo Natuno V6, you're looking at 18 combined seating highway, 15 city, 25 highway. Not as bad as you thought for a twin turbo V6 with 630 horsepower and of course, premium fuel on this thing. I mean, come on, make sure you give her the right nutrients so she can perform for you. Now I told you guys there was a front and there is not a ton of space here, but it's here. Yeah, I mean, they're showing you basically what you would use this for your roadside kit stuff, some documents and everything like that. You got a little cargo net to hold everything down. I do like the fact that they gave you that, you know, instead of just having it open where things will fly out. But again, not a ton of space, but again, you can separate some things. You can divide them, you know, luggage back there, documents and whatever else smaller um, up front here. So I did like the fact that they gave you a little something. Now we just looked at the engine, but let's hear the beautiful exhaust note out of that twin turbo V6 and let's do it in Corsa mode. Now, if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel because when you subscribe, it helps grow the channel and I get more opportunities to get more beautiful Giallo Genio MC20s like this 2023 model behind me here today. Now, one of my favorite parts about this car is obviously the dihedral doors. Lift that up so you guys can see that. Of course, it always looks beautiful on this car. Klaus, you did such an amazing job with this design, you and your team. Wow, really cool. I mean, obviously it's for egress and ingress so you can get in and out easily. You also have a little mesh shield there to stop the rocks and everything from flowing through. They thought of everything here, all right? now. Opening up this and seeing inside, well, it looks beautiful, right? I mean, first things first, before you even get in, you can see the forged carbon fiber on the door sills there. Look at that. Looks beautiful, right? And then when you get on the door, pa door panel here, you can also see 
Nero leather. You can see Kuyo stitching. So this gives you kind of a look of what we're gonna have here. You see the Sonos Faber speaker. We know that very well on the new Gracales. You can see Alcantara on the inserts as well. And you can see where the button door handle or door release originated it was on the MC20, all right? So looks good on the door paneling. You can see before we get in, the MC20 side sill done in aluminum finish. And then put it all together and look at this interior. We're gonna hop inside in just a moment, but look at this interior. Cuyo, Nero leather, dry carbon fiber, what? I haven't seen a spec like this before inside and out, so I had to bring it to you guys here today. This looks insane. We have to hop inside and experience it, but just looking at it from outside, what a beautiful spec. Now that we're inside, let's pull the door down, put on the brake, new blue button for the start stop button. That's the 2023 thing. And here we are into life. Now I'm gonna straighten up this wheel a little bit here. And here we are guys. So there's some new things that is standard for 2023 um, that I mentioned earlier, but now you guys can see it in person. As you guys can see, the blue start stop button was the one that you'll recognize right away. You have rounded buttons for your controls here as well. Obviously we have the Alcantara steering wheel with carbon fiber, all right? And the big one, the big one, the button here or dial here for your drive mode selector. So we'll get to that in just a moment, but here we are guys. So we have this beautiful steering wheel setup. You guys know the MC20 setup, launch control button here, blue start stop button. We have our adjustable suspension here, cruise control setups here, and then your hands-free controls with your volume for your radio and everything there. You also have your big aluminum, uh, aluminum column mounted paddle shifters, all right, that we know and love. You can also see the steering wheel stocks done in a nice gloss with the aluminum touches. All right, we know this very well from the Gercale. Um, and then moving on, you can see underneath us, we have aluminum pedals down there. All right, looks really good. But yeah, audio issues today. Sorry about that, guys, but I wanted to continue to show you the Cuyo leather on the top of the dash. Looks very good. Obviously, you see the digital TFT screen or Speedo, which we've seen on the MC20 before. Started with the MC20. All right, you have the Maserati MIA intelligent screen. We know all about this system um, is Maserati's Uconnect 5 system. So we have this in all of Maserati's. We've had it for years. So you know all about the Maserati Uconnect 5 in the MIA system. You have the Alcantara around the air vents there, which looks really good with the Cuyo leather on top. And then the Nero leather right next to it and the Cuyo stitching. And you have the Maserati MC20 plate, which looks very good as well. It's a great setup overall. Then we talk about the door paneling and the seating setup. All right, so the seating done in Cuyo leather with Cuyo stitching, you know, carbon fiber, uh, I don't wanna say like centerpiece, but you know, that headrest piece there. Uh, always see those, never know what they're actually for. Nero leather inserts and Cuyo stitching throughout. It looks, it looks really good. I mean, it's a really good combo together, but I never thought I'd see it against a Giallo paint. So with all of that said, going all through this car, besides the part that I'm avoiding, cause I wanna show you that last, the center console here, all right. So, full carbon fiber for the center console. You do have our window controls here, lock button here, and our radio selector with this very, very small armrest there, all right, done with Alcantara and Cuyo stitching. And then our back shelf here as well to where we have a little view of the Natino kind of back there, all right, cool, right? But the real star of the show, the drive mode selector. So it's digital now. So if I want to change things like my drive mode, I went to wet. I did that. If I go to the right, I'll go to GT mode. If I go to the right again, I'll go to sport. And then if I want to go to the most aggressive driving mode, the one that's going to give us all the beans, turn off the traction control, that's course mode. And course mode is going to give you that speed all there. So actually, I'll change them here so you guys can see. So Corsa will give you that. Then that's sport mode. Then that's GT mode. And then that's wet mode, all right? So those are your different drive modes there. Now, we're not done because there's two dots there, which means we can actually change that over, right? Right? So you actually swipe. Whoop, I swiped the wrong way. <laughs> so you swipe and you can see where you can soften your dampers, mid or soft. Now, 
let's go back to our other page because if I go to coarser mode, now how do you think we can do all those dampers? Mid or hard, all right? So coarser mode will give you different options when it comes to that. Really cool, I love the new drive mode selectors, just a little bit intuitive, just wish it was a little bit faster. Now, along with this center console, you do have your drive mode selector, all right? Drive and manual here and reverse here. If you wanna go into neutral, you have to pull back both of the paddle shifters at the same time, it will take you to neutral. So yeah, it's just, it's a great place to be. Again, we know all about the MC20 in the inside, but I want to show you some of the new stuff and then what was in this spec in general, just to kind of, you know, give you guys a hint of what this is all about, just from looking in the inside. Really cool. I love, love, love the inside of the MC20. It's simple. It has everything you need, but it's also sporty and luxurious. It's just a great place to be. And speaking of a great place to be, using the camera there, or if you just want to use your regular rear view, which you can't see anything as you guys can see, using the camera there, I can see a Ferrari. <laughs> so that's really cool too. Um, again, a great place to be. But yeah, I just want to show this off to you guys because it's really dope. I want to show you guys the illumination when it comes to the lighting, as you guys can see. The light is definitely, um, it's blurring out, but you know, <laughs> the focus is, is trying to come in. There we go. <laughs> All right, so you guys can see it with the turn indicator there. You can also see on the side here on the front fender, turn indicator there. And then you also have the red light there for the reflector illuminated. And then obviously the tail lamp as well with the turn signal. All looks pretty good together, right? So if you guys are wondering the sticker breakdown, here you are, Giallo Gino, Cuyo and Cuyo at $230,000 to start for this 2023 MC20. Now after options, you're looking at a grand total of $267,395 after the 3695 destination with 300 preparation delivery. So what are we looking at as far as, I mean, options? Look at what we have here, guys. We have the carbon ceramic brakes, $10,000, the ELSD, all right, this limited slip dip, $2,300, the security system, $2,000, high premium sound system, $4,000, Stitch Trident, $900, the 20 inch birdcage wheels, $1,500, the upper leather Alcantara, all right, $1,000, you also have the brake calipers, $1,200, heated front seats, $500, and that Giallo Genio or Yellow Genius paint, $10,000. So again, if we were to add the carbon fiber kit at $35,000, where you're looking at double the price of this $37,000 as far as everything else with the uh, preparation and delivery. So again, it's it's a big it's a big price. I get it. Now standard, this is everything you get on the 2023 MC20. So make sure you guys check that out as well. Zoom in, pause it, do whatever you need to do in order to see everything that comes with this car. Just in case you're okay with getting it standard as is without adding additional options like the things we saw here today. So make sure you guys check that out as much as you can if you're looking for MC20. Let me know what you guys think about this. I mean, obviously for the price, it's a big chunk, but if you can afford something like this, might be worth it. All right, guys, so at $267,000, $37,000 worth of options, what do you guys think about this Giallo Genio MC20? I mean, heck, I will pay a heck of a lot more for something like this, so I'm not mad at it at all. What I would add is the $35,000 carbon fiber kit. I mean, yeah, that's another 35,000 doubling the price of options, but at the same time, the carbon fiber looks so sick on this package. So that's the only thing I would add if obviously money was no option, but at 267, I'll take this. But what do you guys think? Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Give the video a like, we'll help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we'll have a bigger discussion on this Giallo Genio Maserati MC20 for 2023. Now, with that said, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. You guys can also help support the channel by checking the links in the description below for my one-time link donation for PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and Patreon, just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. It helps support the channel and keep it going. I appreciate the love. Thank you so much, guys. Now, make sure you guys also check out the social media links and the Ron's Rise merch. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. And we're going to talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.